It's no secret that Whitney and I love our coffee, but we also like to wine a bit too. And so today we're gonna show you guys how to build the cutest DIY wood and leather wine rack. So, okay. so quit your whining. This right here is all you need to build this wine rack. So we're using two one by four by eight boards, but we found some really cute barn wood online and that's what we're gonna be using. So we'll be sure to share those links at the bottom. We're also gonna be using screw covers and some leather strips. We'll be using our nailer, a drill, and a miter saw. All right, no more whining, let's build this thing. Okay, so the first step's going to be to cut the boards that are gonna be on the front, and we're gonna use eight of these. These are cut to 12 inches. So we already have these cut down. We'll go ahead and lay these out. I think we have a few extra. Four, six, seven, eight, okay. All right, we have our eight boards laid out, and we're gonna get this measurement because one by boards always come in slightly different widths. This one is going to give us 27 and a half. We've got this one by three that's gonna go behind them to attach them together, and we're going to lay it on the back and then just mark where we're gonna make our cut. All right, lay it here, perfect fit, and now I'm going to cut the next one. I'm gonna make my mark. We're gonna add a glob of glue all the way down one yes. side. The technical term is glob. And we are attaching that flush with the side. One and a quarter inch brad nails. Whitney, how did you come up with this amazing piece? Well, I was just sitting there dreaming about wine and just thought, she doesn't really wanna know. She's not listening. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna add two more boards to this, our top and bottom board, and we're gonna mark where those go. So I've got a pencil. question. How do you hang something like this on the wall? I chose to, on my wall, go straight through these boards and into the stud on my wall because I knew that the wine bottle would then cover up those screws. You can also add metal D-rings to the back of these boards that we're doing right here. That works as well. I just always feel safest, my kids, to always have something stuck to the wall. Got our two little pieces done. I'm gonna put glue between these two so that we can attach those back pieces. Just want them flush with the top and bottom. At this point, we are going to add our leather straps. I am gonna be sharing a link to this leather at the bottom, but there's so many to choose from. We're gonna put the nice side of the leather down, and we're gonna line it up just like this. It's gonna be closer this way, because it's gotta hold the whole wine bottle. So it's about two inches from each side. And we're gonna attach the leather using our nailer. How did you decide how long to cut the leather strips? Uh, well, I brought a wine bottle, which is not typically out in the shop with me. Liar. <laughs> sure, let's, let's triple check. Am I happy with that? I think so, yeah. I okay, like so, and now the fun part, the hardware. Y'all know how much we love hardware. All it is is a little plastic washer, and then a screw, and on top of that is a little gold screw. It's almost a screw washer. Screw it in place. Now this Best is the part. magic part, Ash, show them. Then you screw the little stud onto it, and how fun is that? The possibilities are endless. I like your pink nail polish. Oh, well, You're thanks. so feminine. She's blue. We, we didn't know if people could tell us apart. Now let's test it out. It's Isn't that fun? So cute. Okay. So we're gonna finish up the next four, and then we'll get it hung on the wall. And then we're gonna have a glass of wine. After power tools. And after the kids are in bed. Do, do yours, and then that'll tell us where to put that one. One of the favorite things that we love to do with a piece that we're building is just mix materials. So we've got like the barn wood, we've got the leather, and then we've got the gold metal. And it's a mix of like all of our favorite materials. Here's our last screw cover. Gosh, I love these things. So cute. So darn cute. All right, show them what it looks like. All right, guys, close your eyes. <laughs> Wait for it. Open them! <laughs> so, just like that, and again, guys, look how cute that is. Oh. There we go, just like that. And there are so many possibilities with this. The screw covers come in different finishes, the leather, every single color you can think of. You don't have to use barn wood, you could use something else. You mm -hmm. could paint it, stain it. You could make it six bottles tall. But we need to go get it on the wall. And then maybe have a glass ourselves for all the hard work. Yes, we all deserve right. it. Job well done.